Hello, and welcome to another episode of Mr. How To. Today, we're gonna switch out an outlet and a switch combo. Let's get started. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do, shut off power. Then you're gonna to want to remove your cover. This one here had three screws. Actually, it had two. One of them was missing. So I only had two to take out. Always double check. Make sure everything's good with the power. We're gonna pop that last one off. If you think the paint is caught around the cover or, or it's stuck, uh, take a knife to it because you'll rip the, dry, the paper off the drywall. This one was not, so. And now we're gonna wanna remove our switch. Two screws, top and bottom. The switch will pop off. Now this switch is hot. I left it hot. The outlet is off. I wouldn't recommend leaving it hot. Now the electrician with this switch, that's the ground wire right there that I'm removing. The ground is at the top. It could be at the bottom if they have the switch in upside down. So with this switch here, the electricians straightened the wires. They stripped them, they made them straight, and they pushed them in the back. You can, there's a, a small little tool that you can buy. It kind of looks like a jeweler's flathead screwdriver. You can push it in the back and pop those out. I always just cut them and re-strip them. So that's what I'm doing right here. I'm just re-stripping the wires. Now you can curl these or you can go straight along into where the screws are on the side. That's what I did with this one. You can see the screws on the side of the new switch there. You just pop those in, tighten it down. If this is your first switch that you've ever done, I would just use a hand screwdriver. You can use a flathead or a Phillips. The screw is designed for both. I always use flatheads on these. It just seems like they just work better. Oh, come on here, let's go. Why won't you go in there? There we go. Tighten that one down. Also, since this switch was hot, the pliers that I used to strip it, it's an electrician's plier, so they're insulated. Hence why I did not feel a poke or anything. I'm just testing it out to make sure we're good. I've had wires break before inside their black insulation and you put everything back together and a switch doesn't work or an outlet doesn't work and you say, what in the world is going on here? And then I found out later on. So I always check them. When I put everything back together, I always double check and make sure we got power. On this one we did. Now I'm reconnecting the ground and that's it, just pop it back in. Switches are very easy. The hard part with this switch and outlet combo is when you're all done getting the cover, getting everything spaced properly, these screws, that I'm tightening up right now, they also allow for spacing to the left and right of one another. We'll see more on that near the end. Now we're gonna pop the outlet out. So this switch and outlet works just fine. We just want to match it with the rest of the house. So that's why we're replacing them. So this here, this is what I was talking about earlier. That was, it was actually painted right to the wall and I could see the paper was starting to come up. I've ripped pieces, pretty good sized pieces of paper out 
and had to tape or not tape but re-mud and paint and it's a pain you don't want to get into all that you want this to be quick and so cut them if you see anything where the paper starting to pull in the drywall cut them since this outlet's going right into the trash i'm pulling the screws entirely right out it just makes it easier to pull the thing out And generally, you can see how those light, the, the wires are curled. That's always the way I do it. I like to just curl them around the screws or have them straight in the screw. Either way, it doesn't matter, but I don't make them straight and then put them in the back. Now that's a black wire that goes to the gold screw. The silver screws get the white wire. Whenever you rewire, always follow that. If you do it the other way, when you go to reset the breaker, the breaker will trip every time because you got a short in the system. Those went in super easy. I'm just bending the wire down. Copper wires, if you move them, if you bend them a lot, they will break. They've got maybe I don't know, five to 10 bends in them before they break. Now we're gonna put the white wires on the silver terminals or the silver screws. Now these here I had to straighten out. It just wasn't quite long enough. It, the bend in it was already touching the back of the outlet, so I couldn't go forward any farther. Still a little bit too much of a bend in it. I just decided let's just straighten it out entirely. Start from the beginning here. These outlets get harder the more wires you have. The easy ones are where it's just a black and a white wire. Oh, come on here. Let's get on here. There we go, like a glove. Tighten that down. The screws, just get them where they're good and snug. You'll strip them out if you go too tight. Now this here, we have to open up the curl. I can tell it's a little too tight. And it looks like it's at a little bit of a angle. Oh, get your head out of the way. There we go. Oh, that just, that looks perfect. Absolutely perfect. There we go. Now all we got left is our ground wire. We've got our hots, we've got our neutrals connected. Tighten down the ground. That way we're code. All right, we're ready to push this thing back in. If you have a hard time pushing these in, the screws can help you. If you can get the screws started, and then I'll push on the outlet some, and I'll tighten the screw down a little more, push on the outlet a little more, tighten it down. 
if you've got a lot of wires back there, you can see that's what we're about to do. Straighten it out a little bit. This is your time to straighten it out before everything's tight. You can push it, push it in. It'll help those wires bend in. And then we're just gonna tighten that up. Just go easy on those screws. They're just small little screws. We're gonna install the new cover. So I realized here we're a little too tight on the switch. We're gonna loosen the switch up. We're gonna move that over some, see if that works. Nope, still too tight. We gotta move the bottom over. Nope, not yet. Just push a little harder. There we go, now we've got it. Now we're gonna tighten it back down. You can see how that bottom moved. You go to tighten them, make sure they stay right where they're at. We're good there. Now the switch, if you notice on the cover, it's still inside a little bit. So I'm gonna loosen it up just a smidge. We're gonna put it back on. When you put the four covers in, the four uh, screws on the cover, that'll help pull the switch and the outlet back out. You'll see how that, that switch is gonna pop out. But we're gonna make sure we're perfect before we put it in, that everything's good. Because we want this thing to look right. All right, let's go here. And just tighten up, oh, for crying out loud anyways. Why don't, why don't this thing want to go on here? Oh, you got to pop off again? I always put the screws to where they're all facing the same direction. I'm kind of OCD like that. I like them all facing up and down. So all the screws are the same. You can do it the same way if you want or just tighten it up. I always get it to where it's just starting to snug down and then I back it off just a little. Get them, they're all, get them all in the same direction. And that's it, that's the fourth one. We are good to go. This outlet and switch is in. That's a job well done. Easy job, anybody can do this. Thanks for watching, please subscribe.